Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a bootable USB stick from a Windows 7 installation disk. There are two applications needed for that. One is called Magic ISO, which will make an ISO image file from the DVD, and the other one is the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool, which is available free of charge to download from Microsoft's website. Um, so I have Magic ISO loaded up already here, as you can see. And the first thing I'm going to do is just go into the Tools menu and use the command which says make ISO from CD slash DVD ROM. It will prompt me for um, the optical drive and for the output file name. I'm just going to put this on the desktop name it Win7. This is really important to use the format ISO because otherwise the tool won't recognize uh, the image file. You can leave the other uh, settings intact and just I'm going to click on OK. And now it will just start to um, copy the disk into the ISO file and after that we will use the uh, Windows 7 USB download tool. Basically, uh, meanwhile this is running, I'm just quickly going to tell you what uh, you will need to do this. At first you will need a computer with an optical drive which can read um, DVDs. And the other one uh, is, uh, the other requirement is a free USB port on the computer and a USB stick, uh, which has to be at least 4 gigabytes inside. And yeah, basically that's it. Okay, as you can see, um, the progress is almost ready. Uh, it will be just a few more seconds to complete. So, after that, uh, we are going to open the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Okay, so now it's ready. We can close Magic ISO. We won't need it. Uh, here we have the ISO file. And I'm just going to uh, bring up this um, application. As you can see, it will ask for um, some elevated permissions. You can basically just uh, say yes to it. And now we are just going to find the uh, the ISO file. I just put it onto my desktop. So yeah, here's it. And now I'm just quickly going to click next. It will scan the ISO file and ask me what would like to, what I would like to do with it. There are two options. I can make a bootable USB device, or I can I can uh, burn it to a DVD. Obviously, I don't want to burn it to a DVD because uh, the because I just already imported it. So I'm just going to select USB device. It will ask me um, to select the proper USB device. Make sure you uh, select your USB device, which you can find basically here. As you can see, this is it. And basically, there's nothing more left than just to click on Begin Copying. So, format the USB drive, so please back up all your data if you have there any sensitive data. And after the formatting is complete, it will start to copy um, the ISO file over and make the disk bootable as well. If we are going to test that, of course. Right, as you can see, it's now copying the files to the stick. Um, this, uh, the speed of this process will depend on the, on the speed of your actual USB drive. I'm using uh, quite a cheap one. This is a I bought it for five euros in in Tesco, so it's it's nothing nothing much. But you know, for this, it's just um, more than enough. Okay, so as you can see, it's almost ready. It's ninety nine percent now. So it will soon finish copying the files and. After that, I'm just quickly going to test the USB stick in um, my other computer to see if it's uh, to see if it boot up, uh, boots up.
Okay, as you can see, it says that uh, the bootable device was created successfully. So I'm just going to close this down now. And I'm just going to test the stick in my other computer. So here I am in the boot menu of um, my other computer. And now I'm just going to select the USB boot device. And as you can see, it's just starting up the installation from the USB stick. If you can see there, the blinking red dot just uh, on the right of the screen. Yeah, that's my that's my USB drive uh, blinking. As you can see, it's now starting Windows, and basically it will just bring up the installation in a few seconds. It's usually a bit faster than the uh, than the DVD because um, the USB is a solid state device; it doesn't have any moving parts, so um, there is no seek time. And uh, when Windows is um, loading up the installation, it's uh, using a lot of tiny files, and that's why it takes uh, longer to load from the DVD. So as you can see, I'm now in the installation, and I think the rest is pretty straightforward.